she never told me that she loved me, but she had, we had a very strong connection as far as our faith, mm -hmm. our missions that we had served, a lot of different things in common. And, and you received her journal, right? Yes. This is the, this is the journal. Yes. There's a passage in 2012 that says, I also started talking to a guy named Ryan. He seemed like a nice guy. He was much younger than me. I was afraid to ask him out knowing I could be rejected. My cancer kept going into remission. Ryan got married and that broke my heart. I was not about to tell him my feelings now. So that was something that uh, she was maybe deeper into this than, than you were. I didn't know she had those feelings for me. She yeah. never communicated those. Were you surprised when you read them in the journal? Absolutely. Yeah. She says, my cancer came back stronger than ever. I needed to find Ryan. I needed to tell him my true feelings, but how? When I finally connected with Ryan, I did not know what he would say. Um, Ryan and I began to message each other on Facebook, and I would ask how he is, how his girls are, etc. Ryan told me he was single again. Um, then 2016, now I knew my life was coming to a close. Ryan and I were chatting off and I told him I loved him. I finally put a stop to all my chemo treatments. I had told Ryan the last thing I wanted was for him to be there when I passed. Ryan meant the world to me. So she didn't want you there during that time. Correct. So now you've got a twin sister on Correct. on the table here. And these things that uh, Michelle wanted you to have, she's kind of holding those hostage. Absolutely. How did you find out that Michelle finally passed away? There was a, a tenant that lived in Michelle's home who actually messaged me on a text message, the same phone that Michelle had been using all along. And she informed me of the news, telling me that the coroner was coming to the house to take care of the business. And then a day or two later, that's when I finally heard from Suzanne. Did they get along or not? Why did Michelle never mention she had a twin sister? That's a good question. I don't know the answer to that. Was she hiding her for some reason? Were they estranged? Did they, what do you, what's your theory? My theory, and that's exactly that, was that they had some form of relationship because when Michelle had passed and I talked with him or communicated with Suzanne on any level, there was a lot of fond memories that they had. They basically were each other's best friend during their parents' death and falling out, things of that nature. But up to that point, I didn't know that she had a twin sister. She kind of moved in to Michelle's position plus some. She wanted this to go further. Correct. Um, but you've actually played along with that. I have had to, yes. So you're letting her believe that you are a boyfriend. To an extent, yes. To an extent. I mean, you've, you've sent her s some loving text. You've said... Um, that you are, she is your girlfriend and that you do love her. Uh, December 15th of last year, Suzanne, I think someone needs to convince me why I should relocate. You say, why do I need to convince you to relocate, Suzanne? Well, it would be nice. Ryan, being in the same state as your love and his daughters who love you isn't good enough uh, as your love. Then December 16th, Suzanne, I have treatment this AM like you care. You say, I do care. It really, really hurts my feelings that you think I disregard your feelings. We'll talk again tomorrow. Sleep well. Suzanne, I'm in bed. You should be next to me curled up. Ryan, I wish I was. Um, that's pretty snuggly. Um, <laughs> Very then on the phone. 19th, Suzanne says, so are we going to have a loving relationship? You say, of course we are going to have a loving relationship. Is there any other kind? Suzanne, we both need to stop fighting. I don't want to be fighting in front of your girls or our girls. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.